a very good evening to all the lovely daughters and all the lovely mothers attending this workshop before i start this workshop i would like to give just a brief introduction about myself i am gurpreet kaur student counselor comes uh, psychology teacher with gd goenka public school sector 10a gurugram i have been into counseling for almost 18 years see and one of the thing which i have realized in all these years is that i have i love children and i love to understand them and understand their problems i have always felt that the topic of girls essential should be discussed more often so that the girls don't lose their confidence while growing up some of the mothers attending this workshop might have discussed it with their children and some of you might still be thinking that oh my little girl is still too young to talk about these things but Uh, please i mean it is something that you must understand you never know when puberty starts so today's workshop is about the girls essential whatever they need to know during these years so i'm going to give a brief uh, discussion on up the puberty the menstrual cycle so uh, i have prepared a small ppt uh, and i'll be telling you side by side what i want to explain so uh, i'm going to start with the ppt so we when we talk about children we talk about their growing up how they grew like you would still remember that your daughter was born then she started taking steps then she started speaking so one day your girl will move into the adolescent years and finally she'll be an adult okay so we in this session we are going to talk about the growing years and you with your daughter spare uh, you have a special bond with your daughter that is why you are sparing your time to attend to this workshop so now now uh, girls i mean i must tell you that the topics which i am going to talk about today might make you feel little uncomfortable but it is quite normal because sometimes we don't discuss things in a group or maybe in front of your parents but feel comfortable there's nothing like that this is all girls group so nothing to feel shy about whatever i'll be talking about will be it is happening with each and every girl your mother has also gone through the same stages your granny had also gone through the same stages so just relax and listen okay today's main topics of discussion would be puberty menstruation growth hygiene self care in the last part of the workshop we'll be having a question answer round now what is puberty you know it is a stage of life you if you i mean you were an infant once you still are a child but when the transition comes like when you are it is a period between your childhood and adulthood okay and puberty is the period between your childhood and adulthood and in this period uh, very important biological changes happen puberty happens in boys as well but today we are going to talk about puberty in girls so in girls puberty starts any time any time between 8 and 13 years okay so it is not i mean if you start your puberty at 8 your friend might start at 12 or 13 or it could be vice versa so it could be any time between 8 years and 13 years so that is why we chose your class because if you are still not aware about it we better discuss it so that you are mentally prepared for the things which are going to come so now what are the various changes which happen during puberty the first change which is noticed is the breast development okay the girls will start getting heavier at the upper area the breast part and you might need to start wearing a bra um if you want you can wear a sports bra because you know uh, um you need support for your breasts okay your body gets curvier you would see your body getting curvier okay uh, and your hips get wider 
and there is a growth in height and weight this is because of the hormonal secretion and the growth in height and weight is maximum during this period okay and another change which you would see is the growth of hair on your on your underarm and your pubic region pubic is the area where you wear your panty okay it is your lower private part where the hair growth will be there your skin starts getting oily and you start getting pimples okay for for that you must see to it that you are not squeezing popping picking pimples otherwise you will you will get scars okay the oily skin is also due to the secretion of hormones and you need to take care of your skin you need to wash your face with mild soap you need to keep yourself clean another thing which another change which is going to happen is like you will get permanent teeth at the back end okay so the permanent teeth start appearing okay and the body odor body smell you start smelling your you start smelling from your underarms and your body for this also you need to take care of your hygiene you need to keep yourself clean then comes the mood swings so moms please be prepared they are going to be crabby they are going to be stubborn they are going to talk back i mean they're going to be grumpy and moody so this is part of growing up so just bear with them then comes the vaginal discharge there could be clear or white fluid discharge from your vagina okay so that is quite normal okay that is also part of growing up and during these this period you might experience some cramps in your stomach you the body ache could be there back ache could be there so these are all it doesn't happen with everyone but yes some of the girls do experience these things now you would ask why these changes these are the changes which which are going to happen during puberty this is the reason being that the pituitary glands release special hormones these special hormones target the ovaries you know the ovaries are there in a girl's body since birth okay it is not put in later on so it is there in the girl's body okay the hormones cause the ovaries to start making another hormone called estrogen and together together the hormones prepare a girl's body to start her periods and be able to give birth to her child okay so this is a process which is there in all the females so nothing to worry about now here in the picture you can see the pituitary gland so this is uh, this is the major gland which is affecting your height and weight and growth now we move on to the menstrual periods now you must have heard about the period some of you might have already started with the periods Uh, and this is the monthly cycle okay this is the monthly cycle in which the blood is released through the vagina okay so and some girls uh, get panicky on seeing the blood but i must tell you you know how much blood is released during one period like it could be from in 4 to 5 days it is just around 6 to 7 teaspoons it's not that you are losing all your body's blood okay so it is just 6 to 7 teaspoons blood which is released but yes it is mixed with other fluids which like it looks as if we are losing blood it's not pure blood okay so and this this all signals that the girl is growing now what about the periods now periods how when do they start the important question which arises in the mother's mind is okay when will my girl start with her periods so it is almost 2 years after the breast development begins okay and each period it's a monthly cycle as i told you each period usually lasts for about 2 to 7 days okay in some girls it could be for 2 days only it could be for 7 days also so it just depends on uh, like it's an individual case and the gap between the end of one period and the beginning of other period is usually 21 to 45 days okay 
and um, on an average it is 28 days but if it is less than 21 days or if it is more than 45 day, days then the doctor should be consulted otherwise it is quite normal to have a gap of around 21 days to 45 days between the two periods now you know uh, you know we the blood is releasing from your vagina what kind of self care is needed you i mean i would recommend uh, all the girls to use the cotton sanitary napkins so that because the area is always moist see you need to keep it dry so if you are wearing those synthetic kind of napkins it is it is going to give you rashes so use cotton sanitary napkins now change your napkin every two to four hours. Why I'm saying this, sometimes you might say, okay, mom, it's not dirty. I don't need to change, but you need to change it so that you don't get any infection. Okay, you can get urinary tract infection or any other kind of rashes. So, I mean, even if your pad is not dirty, you still have to change it every two to four hours. Now, you know, sometimes you have periods when you're going for some function or when you're going to school also. So you always need to carry an extra panty and two napkins with you. OK, we do have infirmary in school, but it is always recommended that you carry an extra panty and napkins with you. Now, another thing which is very important is keeping your private parts clean. You have to use mild soap to clean yourself. You have to take bath daily. I mean, it, these things are must. You should never forget about these things. And you should wear clean cotton uh, undergarments. It's not that you are not wear, you are wearing synthetic undergarments. That is not done. OK, and then there should be proper disposal of used sanitary napkin. Now, now what some children do what? I mean, if they're not aware about it, if the mothers don't tell the girls, OK, how to dispose? They might flush it in the toilet, so it might lead to choking and uh, or the girls simply throw it open in the dustbin. So even that is not that should not be done. You should properly dispose of your napkin either by wrapping in a newspaper or a plain paper or a paper bag. So the disposal should be taken care of. Now, what kind of diet is required? I mean, I would uh, suggest that uh, I mean, we Indians have good meals. I mean, we have proper balanced meals. So I mean, but still I would recommend that the girls should have three balanced meals a day with healthy snacks. Healthy snacks doesn't mean that you open a packet of chips and eat have four drinks. No, whenever you uh, in between the meals, get a fruit, eat it. Um, cut salad for yourself. You're big enough to cut salad and in this uh, pandemic situation, you must have learned other things also. Then um, another thing is that you should have fibrous diet, which should include vegetables, fruits and grains. OK, and less fried foods. I mean, you should not go in for fried foods all the time because, you know, at this age, what uh, your hormones are being secreted and it is very easy to gain weight. So the salt intake should be balanced. Uh, balanced uh, sugar intake should be there. It should be controlled. I mean, you, I, it's not that all the time you are eating chocolates and candies. No, and you have to drink plenty of water. That is very, very important. Now, see, you might feel that OK, one of your friends start, has started getting the periods and you are still like uh, you still sound like a kid because you have not started with your period. So, you know, people are different or everyone is different. So, I mean, we don't develop in the same way. Like, I mean, if I have a sister, it doesn't mean that we will develop in the same way. My sister will have her own developmental stages. I'll have my own. So, I mean, and but you know what happens in the end is that you catch up. You eventually catch up and the difference between you and your friends like it will even out. I mean, you later on after a few years of time, you will not find any difference. So that is what uh, is there. I mean, the developmental changes can be early in some cases and late for in some cases. Now, a little piece of advice for the mothers. Do talk to your girl. Do talk to your girl child about these things. And, uh, you know, 
you know, if you don't start the topic, who will do it? Just make her aware about various things so that she is not uncomfortable. You know, sometimes suddenly you face with the situation and it, the girls, uh, I mean, anyone can get traumatized. So it is better to make them aware so that they are prepared for it. Okay, and recommended annual checkup. Medical checkup is required to monitor their growth and uh, and see that the spine, there is no curvature in the spine. I mean, you should get it, get them checked. Now, I mean, I know you love your daughters a lot. That is why you are here and you're spending time. And I think today's workshop will help you to start off the topic with your girls if you have not done it till now. Okay, your daughters are precious to us all as well. See, I have a, I have a, a small video to show you. Hi everyone, Just my name is Suvi and I would like to share something with you today. I noticed that my body has been changing lately and it's all been quite confusing for me. My chest seems to have gotten bigger. There is hair between my legs and I woke up one morning and found that there was blood on my bed. I was a little bit scared and asked my mummy what was going on. Sorry, don't worry. Everything that's happening to you is something every girl experiences. All this just means that you're on your way to becoming a woman. When you see blood coming out of you, it means that you're having your menstruation or your period. Why does this happen, mummy? The reason why you have your period is because your ovaries are waking up. Girls and women have two ovaries and each of the ovaries hold thousands of eggs, which are really tiny, nothing bigger than the size of a pinhead. During the menstrual cycle, an egg is released from one of the ovaries and begins a trip down the fallopian tube to the uterus, which is also called the womb. If the egg is unfertilized, the unfertilized egg and the lining from the uterus leave the body and therefore the girl has her period. Mommy, what happens when I get my period? Is it just blood that I will see? Well, Suri, as your body is changing, you won't just see blood. Sometimes you'll feel tired and you might also feel some pain in your breasts. You might also experience menstrual cramps, which will feel like pain in your tummy. All of this is normal when a girl is having her period. Mommy, how long will my period last? You will typically get it once a month, and it will last between three to seven days. The intervals between each period is usually 21 to 45 days, typically 28. What do I do and how can I take care of myself when I'm having my period? As a woman, it is always important to maintain good hygiene, especially during your periods. This is because bacteria can go into the vagina and women who do not take care of their hygiene will be very prone to infections. Let's look at how we can keep ourselves clean. First, we have to keep the external area of the vagina clean. That means washing from front to back with water and mild soap regularly. This is not only good hygiene, but it may prevent you from getting a urinary tract infection. Drinking plenty of water helps your body stay healthier too. Secondly, when you're having your period, you need to wear a sanitary pad because it will soak up the blood that leaves the vagina and it is hygienic as each pad is individually wrapped and it is not reusable. Now, let's see how to wear a sanitary pad. Make sure that the individual packaging is removed and unfold the pad. Peel off the layers to reveal the sticky strips. Next. You should press down the pad with the sticky side on the bottom in the liner of your underwear. Remember to change your pad before it is soaked up with blood or change it at least two to three times a day. Also, remember to wash your hands before and after use of your sanitary pads. One more thing to remember is never stuff a sanitary pad down the toilet. Wrap it up and dispose it together with all other trash. 
Mommy, I've heard some of my friends say that when I have my period, it means my body is getting rid of bad blood. Is that true? This is not true at all, Suri. Having your menstruation is a precious thing. This means that a woman, when she is ready, is able to have children and to nurture the next generation. You should be proud that you're becoming a woman and never feel shameful about having your period. Okay, Mommy. Thank you for explaining this to me. I feel much better now. And sorry, don't ever be afraid if you need to ask any more questions. Okay, Mommy. I will. Thank you for listening to my story, everyone. And I hope this helps you understand your body better. Okay, now, uh, I hope this video made more clear picture of what periods are. And uh, I hope you are also trying to understand how you need to talk to your mothers and how the mother need to explain to the child. So uh, now we can start with the question answer round. Um, parents, you are most uh, free to ask the questions. If any queries, the children also. If you have any doubts, students, please do ask. Anyone having any doubts? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You have any doubt? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, please ask. Ma'am, kitne saal ke bachche ko hota hai ye? Beta, it could be any time after 8 years of age and between, I mean, it can even happen in 14 years of age. It is not that the child will have start having periods at 8 years of age. Some children do get at 8 years of age. Okay, so it is, the range is between 8 and 13 years. Okay. Any time, okay, any time, yeah, you know, I've told you the first sign when you start developing, like oh, your breast starts developing after two years from that time, almost after two years. Am I clear? Thank you, ma'am. And nothing to worry. Okay. We all are there to help you around. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, welcome. Any other question? No, ma'am. Okay. Anyone else from the group? Anyone else? Okay, so another thing which I would like to tell you about is that, the, I mean, many of you might be already having the periods, okay? So the cramps could be there, like you will be having stomach ache or back ache, like I told you. So uh, I would recommend you all not to take any medicine, okay? Yeah, unless and until the pain is unbearable. You should have just a lukewarm glass of water. You can take a hot water bag or you can just rest for some time and you'll get relief from the pain. Avoid taking medicines. This is for mothers as well. Please don't take medicines unless and until it is quite unbearable. So any other question from any child or the mother? Uh, no, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay. Actually, okay. I, I already start talking about this to my daughter. Yeah, that, that's really and nice. I, I teach her how to change the paint and how to fix yeah, it. That, that is really nice. But otherwise, it becomes like a shocking kind of experience for each child. You are yeah, doing right. it. That's good. That is because good. it's a natural thing and every girl will go to this place. <laughs> it is better to make them aware yeah, rather yeah. than giving them shock. That's nice. That's nice of you. Thank Anyone you very else? much, ma'am. Yeah, you're welcome, ma'am. Okay, so we can uh, wind up with the session as there are no further questions. Is there anyone still ask, wanting to ask something? 
Yes. No, yes. ma'am. Ma'am, I want to ask one thing. Yes, Ma yes, beta. Please ask. Oxygen only girls. Yes, it happens only to girls because only girls give birth to your child. Yeah, your papa can't give birth, so it, so neither can be your brother. So the girls have give birth. So it happens only in girls, ladies. Even your grandmother had it, your mother had it, and now uh, you are the next one. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Anyone else? So I think we can wind up with the session as there are no further questions. Um, thank you very much for attending this workshop. I hope this workshop was fruitful for your children. And uh, it's just like that even if you have not discussed anything, now it would be easier for you to talk to your child regarding pe periods, regarding puberty, regarding self-care and hygiene. And of course, do take care of their diet. It's very, very important. Give them good diet, fibrous diet and uh, balanced meals. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.